This morning, I am proud to sign a law that will bring an end to don't ask, don't tell. This law I'm about to sign will strengthen our national security and uphold the ideals that our fighting men and women risk their lives to defend. No longer will our country be denied the service of thousands of patriotic Americans who were forced to leave the military, regardless of their skills, no matter their bravery or their zeal, no matter their years of exemplary performance, because they happen to be gay. All right, President Obama has said many times, if you want to go forward, you put it in D. If you want to go backwards, you put it in R. Get it? All right, now the president and the Democrats made history last week. They repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and that is a huge step forward for gay rights. But as always, the grand old party is stuck in the Stone Age. Two major conservative groups, Concerned Women for America and the Family Research Council, are boycotting the Conservative Political, Political Action Conference this year. They're out, uh, they're sitting out because Go Proud, a national organization of gay conservatives, was invited to the event. For more on this, let's turn to the chairman of the board of Go Proud, Christopher Barron. All right, Chris, first, let me get it out of the way. Why on God's green earth are you even a Republican? Why am I a Republican? Well, first off, I'm not just a Republican. I'm a conservative Republican. Uh, and I'm a conservative because uh, while I was born gay, I wasn't born to believe that government has all the answers. Uh, in fact, I've seen throughout my life that, in fact, government is often the problem because I believe in free market, uh, because I believe in a strong military defense, uh, because I believe in the, the power of the individual. That's why I'm a conservative Republican. Right. I understand that. And our gay people, do they have opinions that are range from liberal to conservative? conservative on economic matters and other matters, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, right, I get that. But what I don't get is how you can, with a good conscience, vote for a party that does not like you. They don't like who you are. They don't well, like your identity. First off, I completely and totally reject that. Uh, we're, for the second year in a row, participating in CPAC, the largest... Congratulations, two years in a row. How about all the other years? Well, first off, we've only been around for two years. Uh, okay. So every year that we've been in existence, we've participated in CPAC. And what I think has been so amazing is that during this controversy, major organizations, opinion leaders have all stood up for Go Proud, stood up for gay conservatives and said, yes, they're an important part of this movement and we need them to win. We need them going forward. Chris, I think that's the real story here. The real story is that the conservative movement is more united than ever. There are a few people, people like Birther King, Joseph Farah and the World Net Daily crowd uh, who make their living trying to grab attention, grab headlines, divide the movement. The fact is the conservative movement is united. We're winning and no, we're you're united. Not. No, Absolutely you're not. You're, you've never been united. And say, oh, Chris, get real. Are you telling complete. me with a straight face? Hold on. Are you telling me with a straight face that the Republican Party has been welcoming the gays all this time? No, the Republican Party hasn't always been welcoming the gays. What I'm telling and you is right it now welcoming is the now? conservative movement. The conservative movement is absolutely welcoming to gay people. I can tell you right now, I have an <laughs> easier time planet? being openly gay with the conservatives than I do being a conservative with other gay people. That's the truth. That's the absolute truth. You might not like it, but it doesn't change reality. Wait, That's wait, okay, the reality. You know what? You want to know reality, Chris? When Don't Ask, Don't Tell uh, was up for repeal, only eight of the Republican senators voted for it and 15 of the uh, the Republican House members. Right, all you wouldn't the have others, had Don't Ask, Don't Tell repeal without the support of Republicans. You. Why can, I mean, why won't you recognize you the most obvious, ask, simple truth? Repeal. Look, you wouldn't have had Don't Ask, Don't Tell repeal if it weren't for those Republican votes. And secondly, you wanna, there's a whole range of issues. At <laughs> night, when I'm sitting at the table with my partner talking about the issues that affect us, surprise, surprise, those issues are the same issues that affect Americans all across this country. Health care, the economy, jobs, taxes, retirement security, and on issue after issue after issue, the conservative movement offers policy fixes that are better for gay couples. You might not like it, and liberals might not like it, but that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. Look, Chris, we, we gotta leave it here, but you gotta wake up, man. In 2004, they ran a whole national campaign against let me tell you, hating let me you. Let me, let me, let me tell In 2006, you what, let me tell you they ran a whole am, national I am, campaign I am, I am against wide awake, hating you. And we are winning, we are winning, the conservative movement are winning, and we're a proud part of that movement. All right, well, good luck to you. <laughs> yes. Thanks. All right, thank you for joining us, though, Chris. We really do appreciate your time and your thoughts here.